channel about a minute early about an minute early and I'm doing a little bit of prep here a little bit of prep while I try to figure out if we've got good audio I'm hoping we've got good audio let's see what we've got let's see if I can get this to load in on my iPad there she blows oh we are good good audio thank goodness chipmunk voice has been playing giving us havoc and lately I can't stop and restart without putting a whole new event in it's been a cluster you know what hope it's just a temporary YouTube problem not sure what's going on but that's what it is and we got about 10 folks in the house and we're gonna look at we're gonna revisit ugly watches folks it's been a reoccurring issue and look right here Watchbox Studios look at this look at the video they have right there at the top that 36 minute long video look at that thumbnail look at that ugly watch that they've got on their thumbnail that Richard Milley look at that look how ugly that watch is can you imagine folks this is an intervention people are actually out there buying ugly watches they're spending a lot of money and they're buying ugly watches we're gonna to try to do an intervention on the channel we're gonna to try to explain once again what makes a watch ugly ugly what makes it a no-fly zone okay so let's catch up on the comments real quick and we will get right into it this can be a heavy duty heavy duty show folks this is an emergency broadcast an emergency intervention Stig's in the house he says good evening Craig our wags is in the house Stig is first I'm second I'll try harder it's my birthday whoa our wags birthday I'm older than you but we gotta help bring these youngsters t to the land of, of critical mass there you go with life financial advice I think the number one piece of advice is don't go through life scared to death. Uh, everybody's trying to scare everybody to death right now, and don't let them scare you. Don't let them scare you. That would be my first piece of advice. Lance is in the house, and uh, where's Lamont? Says Durr. And I was here earlier, okay. And Carlos says happy birthday to our wags. I don't know if I buy that he's older than me. He looks very young. He looks very youthful. I think I'm going to have to see the driver's license. I'm going to have to do a check on that because our wags is in very good shape. That's what good living does for you folks. Good living. Let's see. Uh, Lance says happy birthday. And Lamont is in a session with Ron the Shrink, getting, some, getting his head shrunk. Carlos is in the house. The Mighty Rat is in the house. Triforce Rich is in the house. Uh, have high hopes for today's stream. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, yeah, well, let's see. Let's see if it doesn't, like, cut out on us, just to, just unilaterally just cut out. And by the way, I did talk to... Um, well, I didn't talk to her, but I sent a message over to uh, Leah. Leah. And... I, I suggested that we might do another broadcast talking about Bitcoin and we might talk about the possibility of having collectible Bitcoin. Bitcoin that are like very early mined Bitcoins, for example, or that were uh, held by a famous individual. You know how some coins can be collectible. Uh, I think that'd be an interesting discussion to have. Could possibly some Bitcoin become collectibles and be worth more than the face value of the Bitcoin because they're collectible. What do you think about that? Just like some of these watches can be collectibles? What do you think about that? Okay, uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Carlos, do you have trouble sleeping knowing you bought white gold instead of yellow or that you bought an off-brand Patek over the great... Hey, I suggested he buy the 5196. I think that's a gorgeous watch. That's a close second place to the 002. It's definitely a good dress watch. So, yes, I think that's good. And his decision to do the white gold was so that he doesn't get mugged. And anytime you can avoid getting mugged, I think that's a good thing. And Dur says, are we live? I hope so. I hope we are. 
and I hear the clicks. I hear the chicks dig the chipmunk voice. I, I, maybe I'll have to go with it next time. Didn't think so. Looking sharp, Craig. Well, thank you, thank you. Never did, never did I think we'd ever have a video dedicated to the Seiko Tuna. Maybe we'll have to show that. And by the way, folks, send me uh, pictures of any watches you want me to determine whether or not they're ugly or not. Send me a link to my, and we'll look at them here on the show. Craigship at gmail.com, craigship at gmail.com, and we will make a determination. That 002 looks great under the cuff. The gold peeking out is very professional looking. Well, thank you, Lance. Thank you. Yeah, this one can be completely, it can be completely under the cuff. See, now you have to look at an angle to see it. So, yeah, let's get a little bit more cuff out from there. So you can have it just peeking out just a little bit, right? Absolutely, that's doable. That's doable with a nice trim dress watch. I don't think you want a dress watch that always has to be outside the cuff. I think that's very, very, that limits you as far as what you can do. But I will say that this one is very comfortable when it's further down like that. It, it rides anywhere on the wrist comfortably, even on the low side of the bone, which I normally never want to wear a watch on the low side of the bone. This one seems to just ride nicely wherever I put it, which is a big, big plus for a dress watch. Oh, by the way, and, and uh, somebody commented on, on how I'm dressed. This is, this is one of my favorite uh, sport coats. This is a summer weight cashmere. This is Oxford, of course, Oxford clothes. And let me show you what you get when you buy one of these. Hold on, let's talk about packaging. Hold on a second here. This was back in the day, and when you bought one of these, you got one of these really nice hangers. Okay, one of these really nice hangers, and see what it says here? So, so there you go. You get one of those puppies when you buy yourself a, uh, an Oxford this happened to be a sport coat. They give you the same hanger if you buy a suit. Because see, you can put the pants on here. They give you the same hanger either way. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> so there you go. You get yourself a nice hanger for your, for your sport coat. And uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Da, 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 da. Williams Watches says, hello, Craig and everyone. Uh, there goes the Mighty Rat complaining about the Seiko Tuna again because he can't afford it. Uh, let's see here. I can't afford to be known as owning one. There's a difference. <laughs> Lance in the house. Nah, you haven't seen ugly until you've seen the Rolex Cellini prints. Okay, send me an email. You got to prove it. Send me an email with that model, and we'll take a look. Uh, let's see here. Dur, just wear the day date and put the tuna back. Thing. I agree. My gosh, yes, wear the day date. Absolutely wear the day date. Do not pass go, wear the day date. Oxford Dictionary Beauty, a combination of qualities such as shape, color, or form that pleases the aesthetic senses, especially the sight. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And certain things are beautiful and certain things are not. And so we're going to get into that. And it's called the tuna because it literally looks like tuna can. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Confucius said beauty. Everything is beauty, but not everyone sees it. <laughs> okay, there you go. And we're going to talk about beauty that everyone can see. For example, the 002 here. Everybody can see that. And it's absolutely stunning, stunning. So there you go. Um, and what are you going to do with it? Drop it on the rat. Uh, let's see. Regarding 5196, more than suggestion, you approved my idea. Absolutely, I did. I think you made a good move moving out of the uh, Daytona and into the 5196. But I think you should wear it more often. I think you should dress up and take the, the, the little lady out and wear the 5196 more often. Uh, let's see here. Um... Carlos, that is the watch your, your your wife has that you mentioned was worth more than any of your watches. Oh, what is the watch your wife has? Okay, 
regarding white cold, apart from the security of not wearing something that can be identified from the other side of the street, I neither like the stereotypes of colored gold on a daily wearer. I don't know. This, <laughs> this yellow gold looks awful stunning on a daily wear situation. It looks awful good. So yeah, I think you're wrong on that. We'll bring you along on that, Carlos. We'll we'll consult and we'll we'll bring you along on that. Uh, to, okay. Uh, Rolex Pearl Master 29 white gold with diamonds bezel and mother of pearl and diamond style. There you go. Try for a switch. Okay, I'm not. I I'm gonna have to get off the chat here for a second and get into the show here, folks. You guys are distracting me from the show because we got a really big show, really big show really big show today okay really big show all right let's see what we got here let's see what the batting average is for watchbox now i'm not picking on watchbox studios i like these guys i like tim i think he's a, a cool guy i think he you know uh could could not show as many ugly watches but other than that i think he's a cool guy okay so let's start here first of all his rolex versus grand seiko show i like that show it was great he showed some good looking watches in that show so that one's a lot of good looking watches in that show and then next one we've got the thumbnail is of course a daytona that's a good looking watch no doubt good looking watch i would not buy it i don't like a busy dial like that i would there are a lot of rolexes i would buy first Here's this next one, The Power of Necessity. Uh, I wouldn't buy the watch all the way on the left, that real busy chronograph. The second one looks like a Panerai. I would pass on that. That's got an ugly case design. The next one, that's some kind of a Rolex. I'm not sure which one it is. It looks okay. The next one, again, too busy. And the next one, it looks like too busy, but it's hard to tell, so let's keep going. Here's a Daytona. Again, that's okay. Green light. If you like it, buy it. I, I wouldn't. I would pass. I would always pass on the Moon Watch. I don't think they're that well made, but they're not an ugly watch. But I just don't think they're a very well made watch, so I would kind of pass on that. Uh, and then here, this this thing here, with looks like it's got like the like a map on the dial or whatever the heck it's got. Yeah, I would pass on that. This one here, I would pass definitely on the one on the left with the integral bracelet. That's a no-fly zone. The Panerai, no-fly zone. And probably, isn't that a Patek in the middle? What is that in the middle? I'm not sure what that is. But anyway, it's too busy. I would pass on that. The next one, just ugly bracelet, the way that bracelet connects to the dial. You see there? That's just an ugly watch. I would just pass on that. The next two, definitely the one on the left is ugly. The one on the right, again, I'm not a big fan of the moon watch. Uh, and then these, the, again, integral bracelet, no fly zone. And these other two are just gaudy, tacky looking watches. And then uh, that looks like a sub, so that's okay. But it does have the super case, so I'd pass. Not a big one on square watches, so I would pass on that one. And plus it's got a funky looking case. Okay, the next four, nothing special, nothing interesting, not not attractive, so I'd pass on all of them. Again, the um, this uh, this Patek, I guess that's, is that a Patek? I guess that is. Uh, anyway, any of these with the integral bracelets, any of these, uh, just pass. Just, just pass. There are a lot of better options out there, folks. Don't buy those uh, ugly watches. Here's one that's hideous, okay? pass on that. Here are two more that I would pass on. Here are four that I would pass on. No need for any of those. And again, a complicated, looks like a Patek to me. Uh, again, I, I don't need a complicated dial like that. It just, you know, but okay. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful watch, but I just don't need a complicated dial. Keep going. All these are ugly. All four of these are ugly. This one, yeah, no, no need. Pass on that. That one looks like a pocket watch that somebody added lugs to. Pass. This one, pass. Pass. Uh, what is that? A, is that a cosmograph with a 
a Daytona with a, stra a, stra a rubber strap. Oh, yeah, pass on that. Uh, and, you know, the mill gals, we can take or leave. Uh, pass on that next one. Pass on the Odomars. I guess that's an Odomars. So again, integrated bracelet, exposed screws. Are you kidding me? I'm going to pay a premium for that thing when I've got a lot of better options. This thing here, ugly, ugly. I'd pass on that Omega, too. That looks like an Omega. I, that looks kind of goofy. Okay, a lot of ugly watches, folks. That, that thing there is ugly. That thing there is ugly. All right, pass on all those ugly watches, okay? He says that's what we're going to do. We're just going to pass on all those. Carlos says moon watch is not ugly. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. Let's get in here. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, check your email. <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine. Let's check my email. Let's check my email. Yeah, let's check my email. Okay. All right. Well, first of all, Lance sent one first. So we're going to check the... Oh, jeez. Yeah, I guess that would qualify as ugly. Yeah, I think we'd pass on that. And I think we'd pass on the Breitling, too. I'd pass on that, too. No need to buy that one, either. It's okay. The case looks okay. But they funkied it up. They funkied the dial up. I would pass on that. All right, let's look at the other suggestion here. The Royal Oak Offshore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that, I think that, the, the <laughs> oh my goodness. Can you imagine somebody would actually wear those? What, what are they trying to do? Go to a goof, goofball contest? I want to try to see how goofy I can be. Why don't I wear some, like, um, some paratrooper pants with those and, and, uh, and think I'm cool. That's what I can do there. Uh, let's go back to the 70s, right? With the with the uh, cargo pants, the camouflage cargo pants. I don't mind wearing a pair of camouflage cargo pants that are ripstop, that are you know military surplus from back in the day, 100% cotton. Those are the ones I liked. Um, but I'd wear them on a hike up the mountain or something, right? I wouldn't wear them like. Uh, some event or something right okay so let's see what else we got going on it has a single use useful function okay moon watch is not ugly okay, i just read that anything from who who blow these watches are made for wannabe rappers and other hoods when i had the moon watch people constantly complimented it craig calling it ugly would be wrong i agree with carlos try force rich and now they're not ugly. They're, no, no, they're not ugly, but they're just not a very well-made watch. They're, they're just not a very high-quality watch. I would just pass on it. There are a lot of better options. Life is too short. To me, mixing gold and rubber is like mixing sausages and ice cream. You are like putting something healthy on a pizza, right? Why would you do that? Um, Lance is in the house. The big tune is ugly. Okay. But the mini tune is okay. I think Watchbox is trying to hype up ugly watches that have been sitting for ages so they can dump their inventory. Yeah, but he does it consistently. He's been doing that for a long time. So, Moon, And people buy them. People buy ugly watches. They do. I see them in the forums sharing those things. Uh, Moon Watch, sublime quality and reliability made it surpa surpass all NASA tests and qualified to the moon. Also, it's among the 10 most iconic watches. I would pass on the moon watch. A lot of better options. Um, and what was high quality back in the day, back in the 60s, <laughs> is not necessarily a high quality movement today. So there you go. Milgaus, definitely leave it. It's the Rolex that sits on the shelf. Craig, your 002 would be a perfect watch if it was white gold and had a black calf strap Leon in the house. They make some uh they make some platinum similar in, in platinum. And they make one in very similar to this in stainless steel. So why buy white gold when you can just buy stainless steel? It's pretty much gonna look the same. So they pretty much make the watch you're talking about. Get the one like this in stainless steel, and it now it comes on a I believe it comes on a black crocodile strap, but you could of course switch out the strap very easily. So you could do that. Uh, Triforce Rich says, two-hour stream today. 
Uh, Prince is nice, says Carlos. I think Hubo wins for most accurate, most accurately named watches in their collection, such as Big Bang. That's a great description for them. Craig, uh, do you know the difference between modern day rappers and clowns? <laughs> rappers wear Pateks. There you go. Um, we need to look at some tutors. Craig, do you do you, do you like President Trump? I think he's an entertainer. I think he's funny. Uh, it's funny to watch him, uh, but I don't know the guy, so I couldn't say whether or not I like him or not. But he, by all accounts, he's, he is a very likable person in person if you meet him and so forth. So, um, yeah, he could probably be, be a fun person to hang out with. That would be very possible down at mar a Largo, you know. So there you go. Um, you can tune a piano, but you can't tune a, tune a watch. <laughs> Craig, go to Tudor Watches. Let's look through their collection and rate them. Triforce Rich. All right, we'll try that in a second here. Uh, the astronauts still wore their GMT Masters every day. Cheat Town bringing some facts into the discussion. Sent you a, a very funny Rolex photo. The Omega Moon Watch, a good watch, kneecapped by a crappy 30 millimeter water resistance. Leon in the house bringing some facts into the discussion. That's correct. You would be correct. Uh, let's see. And Trevor just says 50 meter. Okay, let's go and take a look and see what we've got on this next picture. We'll do a time check real quick here. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's it. Now that and th now that's a pretty good-looking watch. There, I think it's got diamonds and everything. I think I think any wrapper would look pretty solid wearing that. A real tacky wrapper could uh, could definitely rock that puppy. All right, let's t let's try to pull up Tudor here. Let's see what we can do. Uh, we're done with uh, with Watchbox. So let's pull up Tudor. Tudor watches. Whoop. Ba 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 ba. I like Tudor. I like homes that are a Tudor design. They're really cool. But Tudor watches. Yeah, we would we would pass on that whole situation. Okay, so let's pull up their website here. Give me a moment. I'll load this in once I get it up on the screen here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, now let's see. First of all, that hour hand is ugly, okay? They should have stayed with the Mercedes hand that they had years ago. That was just stupid going with that, that hand. And in this one, look at that funky thing on the case. Look how funky that is. I mean, can you just take a watch and just hit it with an ugly stick and put that thing on it, whatever that thing is? I mean, it's just terrible. All right, let's go on and see what else we got. It's just nothing interesting. I mean, just blah. I mean, why don't I just buy like a Steinhardt? I mean, if I'm going to buy something like that, like any of those right there, why would I not just buy a Steinhardt? You know? Oh, oh my gosh. Is that it? All right, here we go. Oh, my gosh. Look at this thing here. Look at that thing. How ugly is that? And they've even managed to put it on a hideous strap set, set up. Yeah. No, 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 no. They're not making any progress at all. They're going downhill, if anything, from what I remember of them. Uh, let's see if I can find one that would be halfway decent. Uh, actually, see, th this one, at least the, the hour hand's better, but it's got an integral bracelet. Why in the world would you make a watch in this day and age with an integral bracelet? What are they thinking? This Tudor Heritage Ranger with a throwback type bracelet, you know, that's not integral to the case. That's kind of a clean looking watch. That's not terrible looking. But again, I, I would probably just buy like a Steinhardt or something or, or, or a ball watch or something. One of the ones Steve sells, one of those thousand dollar things uh, before I would buy this. I mean, and these are just marginal at best they're just not there's nothing special about these watches and this is probably 
I don't even know. Is that gold plated? The stuff in the middle of the. Is this solid gold or is it gold plated? No. No. Look, I'm going to buy this thing here instead of just buy a date chest. Why would I? They even put ugly hands on that. Real thin hands with no loom, it looks like. They, they're just trying to dumb down the watches and make them. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Folks, please. Back away from the tutors. Back away from the tutors. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, Ron the Shrink. Lance, uh, not currently, but I enjoy the brand a lot. I want to get one of the Harrods Green Black Bay. Okay, I guess that's what he's saying. The Tudor Ranger looks like a $10 Timex. Yeah, I mean, there's some, there's a lot of watches that you can buy that are very affordable that would be, you know, every bit as interesting as, as these things. Craig, Craig, pull up the watch MBNF HM6 and give us your thoughts on this <laughs> $215,000 watch. Igor, can you email me a link that we can pull up and look at? Because it's a lot easier for me to pull that up in the email and click on it than to try to hunt for it here. It's just my name, craigship at gmail.com, craigship at gmail.com, C-R-A-I-G-S-H-I-P-P at gmail.com. Enough tutor for one stream. Uh, what what it is what it is? Craig Lamont's in the house. Lance is in the house. I personally think that Cartier, excluding the tank, is extremely ugly. They are just overpriced fashion watches. There you go. Uh, Lance, one day your lady is going to want a Cartier. Yeah, real simple Cartier in like 18 karat yellow gold, with a you know really classic dial. Uh, it would be nice for the lady to wear. Absolutely. Ron the Shrink Vintage Tudor Chronographs and Snowflake Subs are really fantastic pieces. All right, send me a link. We'll take a look. Uh, Lance, my wife, loves her Cartier Balion Blue. There you go. Yeah, I think Cartier makes some nice, nice watches, especially for the lady. Uh, okay, so what else? Let me see what else we got going on here. Let's do a time check real quick. <clears throat> I'm checking my uh, tabs here, closing out some of the tabs from from the uh, from the show the other day. And by the way, uh, if you want to follow Leah, Girl Gone Crypto, Girl Gone Crypto, Girl Gone underscore crypto on Twitter. So there you go. Close out that that window for now. And let's see what else we got going on here. Oh, there was something else I wanted to play. Uh, let me... Um, let me spool this up. Okay, this and, was and here you go. Greatly regret it now because it went down from twelve hundred to a thousand. They they're like, oh, I better sell now at a thousand, and then all of a sudden it went back up to fifteen hundred, never went back down to a thousand again. So they feel really bad now. You went up to a high where of three thousand. Yeah, it hit three thousand for a few seconds apparently on some exchanges. Um, so I mean that just shows you the bright future. But again, there, there are many people out there that who say they think it's going to be 5,000 next year or 10,000 in 2020. I try not to get people too excited about it. I think, you know, if it's 2,600 now, that would be great if it's, if it's worth 5,000 in 2020. Wow. So there you go. Back in 2017, 2017, we were speculating. I think, I think it was around 2,600 at, that, at the moment of that video it had gone up to 3000 and then pulled back it was 25 2600 or something like that my dad was interviewing adam meister here in the studio and he um 
they were speculating as to whether or not Bitcoin would hit five thousand dollars by 2020. That hey, that'd be a good thing if it hits five thousand. He says that some people were speculating it might hit ten thousand. Right. Well, here we are in 2020, and yes, we did hit five thousand dollars. Yes, we did, and we hit ten thousand dollars a couple times. So there you go. We're always a few years, a few years ahead of the curve, folks. You want to skate to where the puck is going to be. That's what Gretzky said, right? He always skates to where the puck is going to be. So there you go. Uh, let's see. And you can't make this stuff up, folks. Unless you're a time traveler, you can't go back and change that video. You see, that was done on June 26, 2017. June 26, 2017. Like three years ago. Okay. So, Lance is in the house. Uh, huge, huge watches are also very ugly. The best size for a man's wrist is 34 to 42 mils. That's right. But here you go. Here's an example of a big watch. That Grand Seiko Diver, that stunner there on the left, the 231. The SBGA 231, that is an absolute stunner. And that is 44 mils. 44 mils. So, you can make a stunner that is a nice healthy size watch and then you see the one to the right of that that 38 and a half mil stunner the 005 and by the way a breaking news on the channel here david williams <clears throat> has said that he might be putting his 005 on the market somebody might get a good buy on an 005 because his will also come with a um, alligator strap and a deployment buckle for that and of course the original bracelet uh, he's thinking about stepping up to a spring drive. And I haven't talked to him about why he wants to step up to a spring drive, but that's, that's where he's headed is to, uh, to spring drive territory. So uh, keep that in mind, folks. That watch might be coming on the market soon and at a special price for subscribers. Uh, David Williams, his, his 005 Stunner. It's just like that one right, whoops, that one right there on the right but it comes with some extra accessories and full box and papers full kit he bought it from the stevester my guess is integral bracelets were a thing in the 60s and 70s because machining wasn't where it was nowadays rolex end linking milling quality is so good so there's no need for integral lugs i know and why do they keep putting them on some of these watches i don't get it i just don't get it Ron, I think you know the answer to that. Okay, uh, Dur, Dreyfus Rich, I got a complete six-digit piece with warranty for under 15. Even the sticker from the case back. Or are you talking about the um, the day date, Dur? Are you talking about the day date? Yeah. <clears throat> but again, on 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 those day dates. Condition is key. I mean, if you get one that's just a stand-up unit, you know, a safe queen unit, you're going to have to pay a premium for that kind of condition. Uh, so, you know, that's the deal. I mean, you're probably going to have to pay a couple, 2000 extra if you get one that's just a stand-up unit uh, versus one that, you know, has been kind of been around a little bit but still in good shape. There's a big difference in price. There's, I think, three tiers. There's... <clears throat> the unit that is really has a lot of wear on it, a lot of use, a lot of stretch in the bracelet, right? A lot of wear on the on the bezel. And that's going to be the lowest tier. And then you've got the next tier up is going to be one that's got some wear in the bracelet, some stretch, some smoothing on the bezel, but overall in, in, in really good shape. And that's going to be the next tier up. And price and then the premium ones that are going to be a couple grand over that are going to be the safe queen that's just mint mint condition just super well kept mint condition and those you're going to have to pay a real premium for it's the same way with a car buying a used car it's the same deal uh craig what is the best value for secondhand gs there's a lot of good ones on ebay if you look around They're going to be 9F movements. <clears throat> the ones that are going to be pretty reasonably priced are going to be 9F movements. 
And the ones that are really going to be really reasonably priced are going to be a little bit on the small side. Those are the ones that, you know, nobody wants, right? So if it's a 35 mil watch, for example, or maybe even a 36 mil watch, they're going to be priced better, of course, than like a 38 mil watch. A lot of those ones on uh, eBay are from the Japanese market, and a lot of them are, you got to watch the size, pay attention to the size of them. But there are definitely some good values in the around the thousand dollar range anywhere from 700 bucks to a thousand you'll see some pretty decent 9f powered uh, grand seikos i think we and we've done it on the channel here we've looked at them before uh let's see dur i don't want a six digit but i'm not buying the day date anyway i told the guy 11k take it or leave it so i'll let him decide okay there you go that's right. Negotiate hard because, you know, you're you're the one with the cash. <laughs> it's a buyer's market right now. So negotiate hard. Leon's in the house. Yes, but if you got a sausage wrist, then a 34 to 36 millimeter watch looks just like a thong on a 500 pound woman. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're if you're really big, really big. It probably doesn't matter what watch you have on because you're not going to look great no matter what. So maybe the thing to do would be to focus on getting in shape. And regardless of what watch you wear, that should probably be job one would be getting in shape, I would think. Especially with the current threats that are out there with this, this, this virus that's going around that likes to attack big people. So Triforce Rich, uh, why don't you want a 6 day date too heavy? Uh, some people also like the brushing on the on the uh, 18238. I like the case design and the brushing um, personally, uh, but I, I like them both. Uh, but I, I tend to lean towards the 18238, definitely. Uh, let's see. And yeah, Dury says, I like the finishing and look of the 1823. I agree, Triforce Rich. Uh, Craig, I sent you an email with pictures of two good-looking tutors seen in the house. Okay, let's check it. Let's check this out. Let's see if it's possible that there are two, dos, two good-looking ones. Oh, wow, we got a bunch of emails in here I got to catch up on. All right, so let's do the Seahawk first. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 please. <laughs> oh, please give me a break. Uh, uh, people are going to pay a lot of money for that. Holy cow. There's no accounting for taste, folks. No, no accounting for taste. I had, um, I'll tell you about the lawyer friend of mine. Uh, okay, here we go. And here, here we go. This is, this is the uh, watch that our Wags is wearing as we speak. A really cool bark finish date eight, an 1807 model date eight. Super cool. I've I've really I've really started liking those. Uh, let's see, there's another picture here. I'm re I've really warmed to those. Back in the day, I was like lukewarm to them, but I think they're kind of cool. I think they're they, I think it makes it a little more sporty to have the bark finish. I think it's kind of cool. So yeah absolutely okay let's go to the next email here's these two good-looking tutors okay all right now now I agree that is not a bad-looking watch but here's the deal why'd they put the ugly hour hand on it why would they ruin that watch by putting that ugly hour hand on it why because they want it to be a lesser watch than the Rolex they want it to be clearly a lesser watch than the Rolex, so they put that ugly thing, instead of putting the Mercedes hand on it, what the tutors used to have, right? They they screwed the watch up, and, and, and I'm sorry. And here they did the same thing with this watch, right? I mean, why? Why, 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 why? So, yeah, I would pass. I, I would just pass. That's one, that's reason enough for me to pass on that particular piece, on those pieces, Okay, now here's something else. Now this is on the MBNF, okay? So let me pull this up and then I'll switch to it. It's the watch that was mentioned earlier. This load in. 
Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> no, no, no. All right, let's play this video. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Why would they waste their time? Let's let's get down here and let's see see it on wrist here. <laughs> Why would they waste their time building that thing? I mean, I mean it's interesting. It's cool. I mean, there's some interesting things about it but i mean would somebody actually wear that damn thing i mean are you kidding me <sighs> come on come on come on people uh let's see um uh everyone turning on the 005 kevin d says yeah i mean that's interesting and they're turning on it the one i am looking at is the best condition possible for an 18238 looks almost mint with almost no stretch. I'm not sure about that word almost in there, Triforce Rich. It either has stretch or it doesn't. So I'm not so sure about that almost no stretch. Um, I sent another email, Craig. Okay. I think we looked at them. You can get good deals on the GS watches with the old dial. Yeah, most of them are going to have the pre-2017 dial on, on eBay, the ones in the prices I just talked about, you're correct. Most of those are going to have the um, the old dial. Is there anyone in the chat stream who likes the looks of modern day Gerard, Gerard Perigo watches? Be a good question. Craig, I just sent you two emails. One of the Santos uh, to discuss and the other a screenshot of the SBGN 005 of what a SBGN 005 went for on eBay. Cheap. Okay. Um, let's take a look at that. <clears throat> See if we can pull that up. Give me a moment here. Wow, there are definitely more, more, more emails here. Give me a second to catch up on these. Here's the Cartier. Now, that's not particularly the Cartier that I like. I, I never really liked that style. I like the, the the very classic tank, uh, so yeah, I would pass on that one. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. Uh, okay, uh, Buserv, there's no link here. I got your email here, but there there's no link, so please send me the link on that 005. Send me the link, please. Okay. Let's see what Lance sent. Holy cow. Lance is coming up with some ugly ones for sure. That definitely qualifies as an ugly watch alert. Ugly watch alert on the channel. Time check. Uh, G-Town in the house. Yeah, yeah. See, here's another example of some ugly watches. I mean, why would I do that? W why would I spend a any any amount of money? But you know, let's assume a significant amount of money on one of those pieces. I really want like exposed screws on the bezel. I really want that on a watch that I'm going to actually wear. I really want an integral bracelet. Are you kidding me? And I'm going to spend money for that? No, it's not happening. Um, let's see Dur says Triforce Rich those are pretty impossible to find in that case 11k wouldn't be too bad I put uh, 18238 on my wrist right after a 118238 and it felt as light as titanium with the hollow gold links mine always felt great on wrist it was very comfortable on wrist so I, I wouldn't have really wanted any unnecessary weight added to it but I hear what you're saying also I can't really chat girlfriend wants me to pay attention to her be a serve in the house he's all over the girlfriend and triforce rich says gs can be had for steals used i could have bought 
a complete 231 for 3900 that's a good price that's definitely a good price if it's in decent shape i've i've only seen them for about 4500 but yeah if you can buy one for 3900 that's a good buy absolutely Lance is in the house. Craig, if you want to see an ugly watch, just look at the Piaget. Yeah, I've seen a lot of Piagets. Uh, let's see. Uh, nearly impossible to find. The brushing, as Craig says, is the main factor. I like the lighter weight as well. The six-digit is great as well. I would take either Triforce Rich. Absolutely. I like them both, but I think the 18238 looks a tad more refined than the 118238. I agree with that. Um, Triforce Rich... I also prefer the newer clasp compared to the old clasp on the day date. And that's interesting. My clasp always worked great. I ne never had any issues with it coming undone or or anything like that. So, and of course I used it a lot. So, I think either one does good, but but the new clasp is is certainly interesting, no doubt. But that all, again, all adds weight. So, if people don't mind the extra weight, there you go. Chi-Town Piaget is legendary for their thin watches and movements. The bark finish is beautiful, says Tom. There are no wrong cho choice. As long as you buy condition, not reference, you're good. I agree with that. Absolutely try to get a cream puff. I love the bark finish, but I'm not touching a four-digit. There you go. Uh, Dur in the house, Lance, you asked a question about Citizen yesterday and why they don't have a higher line. Citizens own Frederic Constant watch is what they consider their luxury line. Okay, Durr in the house. The uh, Al Tapino is very in innovative but not really an attractive one. Okay. What the hell is that? A mini <laughs> missile launcher. Ron, uh, with his fake sub, also please don't censor comments Ron makes insulting me. It's harmless. Be a sir. Kyle's in the house. Opinion, opinions on West Palm Beach. Um, I don't. I don't have a lot of contemporary knowledge of of the East Coast of Florida. I I just have never been a big fan of the East Coast. I spent some time in Fort Lauderdale. Um, I much prefer Sarasota on the West Coast. I think Sarasota is absolutely gorgeous. So. Yeah, I would research the heck out of Sarasota. I spent almost a year traveling all around Florida, checking it all out. Miami, I checked out everywhere. The Keys, everywhere. And this was when I was thinking about where I was going to buy my house down there. I, I literally spent a year just traveling around in my RV all over the place. And I settled on Sarasota. That's where I bought. So... That might tell you something right there. Uh, let's see. Um, so, no thoughts on West Palm Beach for me, says Durr. Lance, I would not purchase it, but seems nice to my eyes. But yes, this is a question of personal taste. But we should agree with Craig's beauty canon. Beauty canon over any personal preference. Okay. Um, let's see I agree with you you should collect what you like okay uh, Rolex King uh, okay that Rolex Rolex's ugliest watch and the first Gerald Genta design at the company um, I have to admit that the Grand Seiko Godzilla is kind of ugly and overpriced yeah I don't think I'd buy the Godzilla personally um yeah, Grand Seiko has definitely made some watches that are not the most attractive watches in the world. There's no doubt about that. So, yeah, I'd be very selective what you buy at all times. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I would wear that Rolex Midas uh, to a Star Trek convention. <laughs> there you go. Well, let's take a close-up of the 002. Speaking of stunning watches, let's look a close-up here. See if I can get that spring drive in focus right there, just like that. So there you go. Stunner alert, stunner alert on wrist. 
Okay. Um, Paul McCarthy wears an Aquanaut, but that doesn't change my mind on it being an ugly watch with a trash quality strap. GS Spring Drive GMTs are priced comparably to Rolex Explorer 2 seem overpriced to me. Um, Spring Drive GMTs, hmm, okay. I didn't know they were that much. And of course you can get a discount on them, so you probably get them lower, lower than the Rolex. Uh, Nautilus and Aquanaut are both ugly watches. Yes, correct. I love the Bulgari Octo, whatever that is. Okay. Iran, uh, you can find GS Spring Drive GMTs used cheaper secondhand than the Explorer 2s, I think. Yeah, I think absolutely you can. Uh, it's amazing what uh, DB done with the titanium colors. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Let's see. And uh, Megan is in the house. There you go, Megan. And uh, have you found any interesting watches? You were on the hunt last time. Last time we chatted. And Williams watches. I like the Finissimo too. Whatever that is. Okay. Agree on Sarasota. Spent a lot of time in Siesta Key. There you go. We're on the shrink. Uh, let's see. Hi there, Carlos. Uh, Williams Watches. Hello. Okay. How about Naples, Florida? It's okay. I, I much prefer Sarasota. There's more there. There's, there's a lot of culture. Uh, you can, you can easily zip down to Naples and enjoy Naples as well. It's not that far. Uh, but I think that I would definitely pick, um, Sarasota over Naples, but Naples is, is, uh, is gorgeous, and Naples is a lot of money there, but there's a lot of money in Sarasota, so either one are, are fantastic. As far as on the West Coast, those are the two places you would want to be. One of those two. And Megan says, hey Craig, do you know much about the Ball brand? I believe Steve is a dealer. I think I saw some of the Ball watches there at his place. And I think some of them are pretty cool. I'm not super familiar with them, but I think some of them are pretty cool. I would definitely look into it more, and maybe some folks can can give us some opinions in the chat. But I think they do make some interesting stuff. I, I have a generally favorable opinion of some of their watches. Uh, my twill favorite quality pleasures. Uh, okay, he's listening. He's listing some funky watches there. We'll we'll go with that. The Patek 5131G is extremely ugly. Okay. And Denna Scott is in the ha house. Craig, did you ever go to St. Omer and Circle once? So, oh, yes. Went there a lot. Absolutely. I've spent many years in Sarasota. So, yes, I've been there many times. Many times to the drum circle, the uh, sunset uh, ceremony. I've got a lot of videos on my channel. Just go to my channel and search um, Siesta. Uh, or, or or Sarasota or you know any of those keywords and um, I got a bunch of videos and you know been to a bunch of the events parades all kinds of things down there and it's just gorgeous the people are the people are gorgeous people are super nice um, really a wonderful wonderful area so yeah and a lot of nice restaurants on St. Elmer and Circle da -da 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 -da, the Patek 51 5131 is one of the most beautiful watches on the planet. Lance is like a, a wellspring of bad watch, watch opinions. There you go. Lamont, uh, thoughts on President Trump. Ron the Shrink is asking Lamont. There you go. No idea of what Lamont just said, but seems fun. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and Trashy Larry got hit with a wrench, it looks like. Ron 5131 has that beautiful cloisonne dial, right? Okay. Maybe somebody can send me a nice picture of one. I'll bring it up. We can all take a look at it. Our Wags, Kyle Jett. Uh, uh, Vero Beach on the East Coast is beautiful. There you go. Our Wags is bringing in some, some information for Kyle. Lance is in the house. Ron, uh, what's so great about that watch? It looks like a toy, <laughs> says Lance. Kyle Jett says, I'll check that out, our wags. There you go. Uh, Hand-painted enamel world timers are as good as it gets, says Ron the Shrink. 
Uh, not quite as good, though, as the 002 Stunner. There's the 002 Stunner. Try to get that in focus there. There we go. So, you know, how can you beat, how can you beat the 002 Stunner? It's the perfect size, the perfect look, super comfortable on wrist, and keeps great time, great time. We will know in a week or two how good. I think this one's put, putting on a second or second or two a week, I think. Uh, it's putting on a little more time than my than my 231 does, but my 231 is exceptional. Is a, is one of the most accurate spring drives on the planet as we speak. It's incredibly accurate. Uh, I got lucky on that one. Let's see uh Lowengart watch about uh 5496p champagne dial. Kyle Jet says um, Naples looks nice on auto uh, Europa Naples, but he is constantly complaining about weather. Okay. Uh, the weather is fantastic in the winter time in Sarasota. Okay, Williams watches the 5131 is stunning. <clears throat> Ron the Shrink, Lance, all trolling aside, what are your grail pieces? I'm sure the quality of the Patek is amazing, but the dial is awful. Okay, well, let's get a picture in here, and we'll take a look, and I'll make the final decision, and my decision will be binding. Cheetown's in the house. A hand-painted, world-time Cloisonne dial is one of the finest examples of dial work out there. And, Craig, I just sent a pic snapped of a skeleton Bugari Oc. Octo is it just me or does this finishing look subpar? Okay, let's pull this up. See if we can pull this up. Time check on the on the channel, and uh, we'll pull this puppy up. Okay, first I got to catch up here a little bit. Got to catch up. Oh my gosh. My goodness, can you imagine wearing that? Yeah, that's a full pass on that one. A full pass on that one. Go back to a time check. Let's get hook up this other email. We got a couple of emails in here. Got a couple of emails in here. Here is the here is the fifty one. I guess this is the fifty one thirty one. I guess that's what that. Okay, so here's the deal. <clears throat> I am sure that in person, that thing's going to look stunning as far as the quality, the finishing, all of that. Right? I'm sure it's going to be stunning looking. But to me, I don't want to watch with a super busy dial like that because I buy the watch to actually wear and use. And to me, it would be like I'd be like trying to decipher what time it is and stuff. I mean, it'd be like work every time I look at the watch. So it wouldn't be for me. But but it's not an ugly watch, not by any means. It's a, it's a gorgeous piece. Uh, I like the, the lug design. I like the bracelet. I like everything about it. I like the 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 shoulders on the crown uh the, the the whole thing is is absolutely stunning but i wouldn't want to watch that busy personally so there's there's my my final decision on that and that is binding oh let's see what else let's see what else we got here let's go back to the emails i think i had another email in here okay oh cool there's the Grand Seiko Stunner. Grand Seiko Stunner Alert. Stunner Alert. Super cool. That looks cool. Out driving about. Absolutely. Looking good. Okay, so let's see what else we got going on here. And we're all coming up on an hour already, just like that. Just like that, an hour. Isn't that something? Um, Datejust 36 is a great piece. Oh my gosh, yes. Ron, I really wanted HS36 16234 and a Patek. Oh, excuse me. Oh, 5711. <clears throat> HS36 is a great piece. Thumbs up on the Datejust Lance, but the 5711 has wings. Okay. 5711 is a hyper. <laughs> okay, so pass on that. Uh, just sent you an email of a 5131. I guess that's the one I picked up. I, I pulled up. Okay, uh, um, uh, Lance, if you're 17 and you want to own a nice watch, 
comparable to a date just you need to look into vintage Tudor prints dates and date it no 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 Tudors no please for gosh sakes don't don't steer the young young lad towards towards a total failure like that the fact that that guys will spend 5170 money on a 5711 just shows me a lack of critical thought cheat towns in the house Lance get a a black bay 41 great bang for the buck and and Lance is in the house uh at Ron the Tudor Prince date is stunning but I would rather save up and get used date just 36 there you go uh, I agree with that I had a linen dial Tudor Prince date a few years ago it was a great piece yeah I'd pass on that it's a good thing you got rid of that uh, you service in the house Lance needs to be patient and save up but he probably already knows that Miami was pretty much a dirty city that was falling apart with a big drug problem in the 1980s okay yeah but it's not the same as it is now uh, then is it here now as it was then Miami the capital of the day date there you go I voted for Obama but Trump won the election uh, my dad told me Trump better though there you go 5131 uh, Williams watches loves that one uh, let's see, the Patek is ugly. <laughs> I don't want a picture of the earth on my watch dial. Durr in the house. Yeah, I don't want it on my dial either. But Let's see, Williams watches. World time is a great complication. Doesn't it bother you guys to have the, the word Seiko on your watch? Not if we've got a Grand Seiko. Not if we've got a Grand Seiko stunner. Stunner alert stunner in the house uh let's see miami is like the los angeles of the east coast overpriced crappy quality housing stock for the money and very obnoxious people like moving there cheat town in the house yeah that's why sarasota is the way to go absolutely dean is in the house there's a great indian indian jewelry shop in downtown sarasota with some fantastic indian fetish necklaces there you go uh, notice how Craig just yawned after he said Patek. It's putting him to sleep, too. <laughs> Be served. Craig, my fake girlfriend says that my shirt buttons clash with my blazer buttons. Is that an actual problem? That could be a problem. Absolutely. I've been slightly tempted by the Seamaster Trilogy 1957. No diver in the collection anymore. Triforce Rich. Yeah, if you want to get a diver, just get yourself a 231 and wear it. Get yourself a 231 and wear it. That's what I would do. Hey, uh, hey, come to think of it, that's what I do. <laughs> so there you go. Um, Mike uh, says, I was in Miami last year. I smelt urine in the streets. Oh, that's not good. If you serve, you should rock a purple suit. Uh, Dina, uh, do you know the name of that jewelry? Okay. The Grand Seiko has better pedigree than Tudor. Oh, I guess so. Um, Mike, Miami is training ground for San Francisco for bodily waste in the streets. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. Uh, Ron the Strength, San Francisco should just be abandoned and leveled. It might be if a, if a big uh, earthquake hits them. <laughs> that could happen. So that's how that works. Um, Craig, check your email. Okay, I'll check, and we're gonna get we're gonna get ready to wrap up. So anybody that needs to send anything in, do so, do so, because we've been going more than an hour. Oh, no. oh my goodness! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Oh, man. And, 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 you know, this is like somebody would say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Not any beholder that thinks that's beautiful, they need Ron the Shrink, okay? They need help. They need professional help if they actually think that that watch is beautiful. And there's going to be somebody out there that does. There's going to be somebody out there that says, oh, my God, that's so beautiful. I'm going to save up. I have to have that watch. How do I get it? 
There's going to be somebody like that, right? And they will have very poor taste. So there you go. Um, let's see. Um, uh, good, one good thing about San Francisco is they have some damn good food. Okay. Why can't we stream daily, Craig? Do you have something good, you have something good going on? <laughs> I think we pretty much have. <laughs> so, Brianna, the lovely Brianna just popped in. Just We're getting ready to wrap up the show. The lovely Brianna just popped in. You say to get a 231 for diver, but I only have a 6.5 inch wrist. That's way too big. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Dana, uh, Scott, I do not recall the name of the Indian store. It was on St. Elmer's Circle, then moved to downtown. I think it's on 3rd Street. They have some real high-end stuff. Cool. Derek's in the house. We can't wrap up yet. And Bree says, hi, everyone. And um, let's see. Uh, and Lance says, hi to Bree. Okay, a lot of folks saying hi to Bree, the lovely Brianna. BreeFitDance.com, by the way, BreeFitDance.com. Let me see if I've got her website here. I'll have, I'll, I'll give a plug for the lovely Brianna. Do you know that Brianna, somebody sent her some Bitcoin yesterday? Somebody sent the lovely Brianna some Bitcoin. That was very nice of them. And by the way, if you want to do the same, there are QR codes on this page, BreeFitDance.com. Go to BreeFitDance.com and scroll down and there are some QR codes for various ways that you can send a donation to the lovely Brianna so she can keep creating world-class content world-class content the lovely Brianna BreeFitDance.com BreeFitDance.com there that, that picture she's wearing my jacket one of my jackets so there you go just like that BreeFitDance dot com so let's see what else we got here uh the one craig is soon to get um and triforce rich says derek what is the best day date there you go uh ron it's an invicta aka the worst watch brand ever there there's someone who likes that gold watch and live in atlantic city <laughs> a puppy is about to get wrapped williams watches leon is in the house I would take an Invictor over Tudor or Hublo. <laughs> that might be a good move. The the Invicta 9937 is a pretty cool watch. I did a review here on the channel. 9937. Check it out. It's a pretty cool watch. <clears throat> so Durr's in the house. He says, that's br brutal, Leon. <clears throat> Excuse me. i got to drink some H2O. Okay. <clears throat> Craig, any advice on how to get sexy beauches? I don't know what that word is, but like Brie and, and Aubrey. I'm, I think you probably meant Audrey. Okay, so Ron the Shrink, here's a tip. Um, dress real nice, bathe regularly, shave, a nice close shave, and have a lot of cash. Have a lot of money, and treat the young lady with respect. Buy her very nice gifts. And beautiful, beautiful ladies like very nice gifts, okay? They like, they like a man that is generous and that treats them with respect. Um, and, and that's a good start right there. So, you know, dress real nice, wear a nice watch, that also helps. And have, have, have lots of cash on hand and be very generous. That, that helps. All those things help. Uh, the only acceptable Invicta is the Pro Diver 8926. No, check out the 9937. I think that's the model number, 9937. It's 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 the cat's meow. Uh, let's see. I used a Hubo Classic 36 millimeters daily watch for around six years. Just found out Nancy Pelosi was born in Baltimore, Maryland. What a hellhole. <laughs> there you go. Carlos, I still have it. Hubo is fantastic. Isn't Bree from Ecuador? I bet she is not enjoying the Maryland weather swings. I don't think she likes the cold weather. I don't think she likes the cold weather, but she can comment on that if she's still in the chat. Only wrap. By the way, if you become a Patreon, $25 a month Patreon, she'll do a video chat hangout with you. 
there you go become a uh, don't be so cheap folks go to briefitdance.com and become a patreon i'm a patreon become a patreon why be so cheap megan's in the house uh, uh don't vegan guys i like grass-fed colorado beef lance and wannabe thugs uh baltimore has the best crab cake uh, serving diners okay craig when was the last time you got your <laughs> your tip stinky Ron, Ron the Shrink is getting a little bit inappropriate. I think we're going to go ahead and block him. We're just going to go ahead and block him. Let's just do this right now. Let's see. Hide user from channel. Bam. He's gone. Ron the Shrink is gone. Just like that. Okay. Williams watches. Um, Invictus are never okay. Uh, Town Cup, I never own one, but I've seen reviews. Don't worry. Okay. Um, Craig, you described a well groomed sugar daddy. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Positively. Lutely. Ladies like to be treated with respect, they like to be showered with gifts. You know, this is, this is normal. This is okay. That's the way life goes. Let's see here. Uh, we are cheap. We spend all our money on watches, says G-Town. Dr. Ron, that's that's something. And Carlos says, Williams, me too. Uh, let's see. Um, I used to wear a business suit. Uh, me too. At that time, I used to wear a business suit every day, and I liked the look of it, Carlos. Maybe Lance was right. Hard to believe this guy is a doctor. Oh, and by the way, by the way, Years ago, years ago, I had a friend that was a, an attorney, and he had no taste in clothes, or anything for that matter. And he literally paid me to help him pick out clothes, pick out a tie, pick out a shirt, you know, the whole nine yards, what shoes to wear, what car to get. I was like an image consultant for him back in the day before image consultants was really a thing, right? And, and, I mean, he had no clue, no clue. And w once we did this whole makeover for him, and he was a Harvard-educated attorney, by the way. Once we did this whole makeover for him, all of a sudden, you know, he started doing a lot better with the women. He started making a lot more progress with the women. Imagine that when he was really well-dressed and didn't look like a slob all the time. So there you go. And he was an attorney and didn't know how to dress. Okay, so so that's how that works. Um, Craig, I used to own the 9937 a few years ago. It was okay watch, but broke about 11 months after I bought it. Yeah, it, those have quality control issues. You've got to get one that is a good one, right? And then they'll, they, it might hold up, but it's a catch-as-catch-can. It's a luck of the draw, right? But it's a, it's a good-looking, solid watch, solid end links, nice solid bracelet. 40 mil watch looks very much like a sub it's a basically a copy of a sub right uh let's see here the invicta 1953 is pretty cool uh trashy larry ron email me i'll take your wife or husband okay uh dur says let's ease up on the wrenches when somebody doesn't say something out of line guys uh, uh oh trashy larry just got hit with the wrench there you go just as you said that he gets hit with the wrench all right, I'm going to wrap it up. Any, uh, any last-minute questions or comments, put them in there. Put them in there because I'm going to wrap this puppy up. I'm allowing for the time delay. So in case anybody has any last-minute questions, and we'll switch one more time to the lovely briefitdance.com to her website. And if you want to become a contributor, you can find out on briefitdance.com how you can help her. You can help support her content creation. Uh, so there you go. And then your lawyer friend would fit in in 2020 with all other folks not dressing right. Uh, let's see here. Um, plenty of attorneys who dress formally but still manage to look like drunk slobs, not pointing any fingers. <laughs> uh, digest what the state pen does to a man. Okay. Um uh, Another good show, Craig. Don't forget to subscribe. Here we go. Our wag giving some tips to everybody out there. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell. And you may give a thumbs up to the broadcast. Please note all opinions given by Craig are documented to be 99.7% correct. 
99.7% correct. Last time they did a study, it was 99.6%. So I'm actually up to a new high of 99.7% correct. And ViewServes put a link to eBay. Um, thanks. Great show, Quake, as always. Oh, let me see if that if he, if he put that link. Because I didn't get that link. And let's see if he resent that to my email. Because I would have showed that that watch that was a deal but I it, the link wasn't in the email and it's still not here so anyway it's in the chat there click on that link and take a look be, be sir put that in the in the link um, thanks Craig great show as always Craig please explain the details of your tooth of your 2000 day date purchase there we'll have to do that next show bring that up next show and we will talk about the 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 um the day date i bought it at a um a dealer down in tyson's corner mall the the main tyson's corner mall and i actually have an unboxing i think there's a lot of that information in the unboxing video so take a look at it here on the channel take a look at the unboxing video that i have it, it it's a it wasn't a contemporary unboxing it was a review of all the box and papers and everything of that watch so just search 18238 here on the channel and you'll see that and I think you'll see the paperwork and all of that there and um, but we can talk about that in more detail on the next show if you would like to not sure why that's so interesting but we could uh, let's see take care thank you Craig our wags is the top citizen of this dictator <laughs> dictatorship <laughs> there you go do they sell puppy wrap at the dollar store? Top show? Okay. The link for the sold watch goes to show that deals are out there. Absolutely. You got you to grab them. Snatch up the really good deals. Okay. We are going to wrap this puppy up just like that. Just like that. We made tremendous progress. We created content today, and I'm going to eat. I'm going to celebrate by eating a really cool dinner. Hey. Click subscribe, as our wag said, click subscribe and click that bell.